good sky deck it's your favorite boss ebony skies and i am back again with another video hey how y'all doing Whew. how did we get here okay so before this video begins before i jump into this i want to just um say to you guys that it took me a while to um, build up I don't know if it's confidence I don't know if I want to say confidence or what but to get to this point in my life where I come on here and say what I'm about to say to you guys and not care about what anybody thinks or how anybody feels about what I'm about to say because what I'm about to say needs to be said because it's it's real things like it's stuff that's like really going on in the real world that in my everyday life that i'm seeing that i'm dealing with that i'm going through that the world is going through but you barely hear anybody talking about it so i'm happy that i'm at this moment that i can share these things with you guys and not care because this needs to be said so without further ado we're gonna hop into this video another thing that i wanted to come on here and say to y'all is i'll have anything to prove so whether you believe me or not whatever messages you get out of my videos or what i say that is solely up to you i don't have anything to prove to you guys i'm not trying to make you guys believe in anything you don't believe in that's up to you so I'm a big dreamer I really believe in my dreams what I dream about when I'm dreaming I remember majority of my dreams a lot of my dreams a lot of real stuff a lot of things happen to me in my dreams or just I witness in my dreams and I can assess to um, ever since I started my spiritual journey journey ooh, ever since I started my spiritual journey I'm more aligned within myself and with the universe and earth I want to say that I'm all the way aligned but I'm I'm almost there like I'm very aligned I even had a moon cycle I've had a, I've been having a couple moon cycles um so I would like to say that I'm very aligned within myself and the universe okay so i'm a dreamer i dream a lot of things and sometimes i share the things that i dream with people i'm also an empath so an empath so i can just feel things and i just know things you don't even have to tell me i can just know and i feel the energy and i already know what the, what it is i'm also i'm a cancer so i'm emotional too so i really feel so, I had a dream a while ago, I want to say like four, five months ago, that it was a big decision that's coming about that has to be made. Now, in this dream, I was in my old childhood neighborhood that I grew up in, and I was walking down the street, I was heading to a meeting. I didn't know what the meeting was about, but I'm going to that meeting. But before that part occurred in the beginning of the dream, I was in front of my old house, but I'm grown up like I, I'm grown up now with my cousins and other people that I knew when I was younger. Everybody just kind of like scattering everywhere, driving off in cars. Like it's something serious that's going on and people are going they're going to make their rounds and gather up supplies and stuff the sky looks kind of crazy it's like a grayish color like it's about to storm or something and i'm on my way to this meeting i gotta hurry up i gotta get to this meeting i got a bag of clothes with me when i arrive to the meeting it's on simpson in the house that i've never ever been to in my life but when I arrived to the meeting, it's at a house, but 
when I walk through the doors, it no longer looks like a hassle. It's like I'm in a, a big, huge building. So, when I get in there, I go to the bathroom. And I have a red shirt, like Republican red, and I have a blue shirt. Democrat blue. That's what we're going to call it. And I had to pick which side I was on, which shirt was I going to wear. I don't really remember which shirt I put on. But in my physical, I know which side I'm on. So, I put the shirt on, I pick my side, and then I go in the meeting room. It's a big, long table, and it's a lot of people in there. I want to say I put on a red shirt. I want to say that in my dreams that I picked the red shirt. Because when I get in there to the meeting, it's a big, long table. It's my team. They all have on red shirts. But I'm not knowing that it's my team. I'm thinking I'm just the person that's there at this moment. But I'm standing because it's only one seat open. And I don't know whose seat that is. So I don't want to take somebody's seat. So I'm just, I'm standing there. And then a lady suggested I could sit in that seat. Because everybody's waiting on the meeting to start. So as soon as I take my place, I sit in the seat. She hands me my papers, and the meetings began. The meeting begins. <clears throat> so, in, my, in the dream, I'm thinking like, okay, so, y'all was waiting on me to begin all this time, and I'm just standing here. And my seat was right there. It was open the whole time, waiting for me to begin this meeting. So, in the real world, when I woke up, how I took that dream is, I have a very important decision to make there is really a side to choose to be on and um it starts with me so fast forward to a couple months later i was in a spiritual group and i was talking about my dream on a post and a girl commented on there. She said, I had that same exact dream. And I'm like, wow. That's crazy. What a coincidence that somebody could have the same exact dream as you. Like, so they have a decision to make too. So it just like, it really dawned on me. Like, wow, we really had the same dream. That's crazy. But it's not crazy. It's pretty awesome. And it makes sense. But fast forward to... A few days ago now um i watched ralph smart i don't know how many guy of you guys are familiar with ralph smart but i do like to watch his videos i like him i like it's baby J. I i like quatita dean i like gyla hagen um and a couple others that i like also but ralph was on my tv you know how you go on youtube and it has like videos you might like you watch the videos the recent uploads so and the recent uploads it was a ralph smart video and they said the sides have been chosen or something like that and i instantly i thought about that dream because i'm like <laughs> excuse me but i instantly thought about that dream and it's, I don't think it's a coincidence that I saw that and then instantly thought about the dream. It's pieces that are being put together so that I can better understand a dream. And I could put it to my experiences that I am having in this illusion world. So I can really grasp it and think about it. Um, then I thought about, it just popped up in my head again. I had got like a um a download i would say because it just popped up and they always I always get downloads when i'm watching ralph smart so the, my first download my very first download that i had that i could actually see crystal clear and remember it was like a 
a time capsule, but like one of the sand clocks. It was like this big and it was round and the time was running down. And you know how you could turn the sand clock and then it reverse and the sand goes back down the other way? The clock was turning, but it the time wasn't able to be reversed. That was my first download that I had. The second download that I had, again, while I'm watching Ralph Smart, I don't know what it is about Ralph, but Ralph gives me downloads. Um, it was an uh, ancient time script. It was black and the uh, letters and stuff. I couldn't understand. I couldn't read it, what it was saying. But it was, they were highlighted a royal blue color. And it was like, mm, this big. And they had like a chunk. It was rectangle shaped with the right corner missing. That was the second one. And it just like appear for me and I'm trying to put my pieces together because now when I meditate also I get downloads too so I'm trying to figure out how to piece everything together from the downloads to the dreams well, with my everyday life so I'm going to be sharing my dreams with you guys more often. Somebody told me that I should make a dream channel. Comment down below if you guys think I should make a channel solely for dreaming. Or should I keep everything inside this channel? What do y'all think the dream meant? I think I got the correct message out of it. So the sides I feel like there are are the woke side. And the non woke side, and then maybe it, it can be a middle of people who don't know. I feel like, but in my everyday life, just like in a dream, people pick their sides. When I woke up and I'm in the illusion world again, people really did pick their sides. I chose a side, other people chose a side. It's the woke, it's the non woke, the religious. It's the non-religious. Um, I don't know if this happened for you guys, but for me, for a lot of other people, when you are on your spiritual journey, I've been on my spiritual journey for years, but recently it started getting more and more intense. I've seen things on my cameras in my house. I've got downloads, everything. I consider myself to be very spiritual, very aligned, very woke, as one would say. And when you're on your spiritual journey, it gets lonely. Like when you first started, it's scary. And then you find out who you are. And then you find out who people are. And it's just like, this is you. This is everybody else people disappear it's a witch it separates you get separated distance you know you feel me you get where I'm going with this you see people for who they really are you see people true colors you grow distant from people in the dream it was two sides Y'all see, do y'all see the sides of the woke and the non-woke, the spiritually aligned and the non-spiritually aligned? Do y'all get what I'm saying? So there are definitely sides to choose and the, the sides have been chosen. I'm not close to a lot of people whom I used to be close to and that's okay with me. First, it was not okay with me, but now it is. It's very okay with me. Because I'd rather be distant from somebody than to be around somebody I'm uncomfortable around because I can't be my true self around them. So, yeah, I, don't, I just wanted to come on here and I wanted to say that to you guys. I wanted to share with you guys things that I have came across and I have 
witness. Yeah. Is there anything else that I needed to say? Hmm. I don't think so. I don't think it is. I like my hair. This is day six. Yeah. Okay, you guys, <clears throat> that was my message. I hope y'all enjoyed the message. I hope y'all enjoyed coming out here, seeing me. My guys, my goddesses, I love you guys very so. I am out. Mwah.